in today's video i am going to explain a problem from functions of complex variables and in today's video i am going to find out the analytic function whose real part is given as u is equal to r square cos 2 theta plus r into sin theta what is given the real part u is given as r square cos 2 theta plus r sin theta and now i have to find out the analytic function for that i am going to differentiate with respect to r so u with respect to r see here it's very clear r square is nothing but 2r again cos 2 theta as it is and for again r this is 1 into this is sin theta this is we i differentiated with respect to r and now i am going to differentiate with respect to theta now so this is do u by do theta is equal to r square it is like that for cos 2 theta this is minus 2 sin 2 theta and again r i am leaving as it is for sin theta this is nothing but cos theta so this is u given differentiated with respect to r for one time and theta for one time now according to the cr equations so what are the cr equations here so please note cr equations for the polar coordinates r see here this is do u by do r is equal to this will be 1 by r times of this is do v by do theta and the next one here this is do v by do r is equal to this is minus 1 by r times of this is do u by do theta these two are nothing but the cr equations i am using this cr equations so this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 i'll use these cr equations and see now i have to find out the analytic function so for that dv is equal to this is do v by do r into dr plus this is do v by do theta into d theta see i have the values of uh, u here i have the values of u here u is given real part is given now i am going to transform this v into u using the cr equations now this will become dv is equal to what is do v by do r do v by do r is nothing but minus 1 by r times of this is minus 1 by r times of do u by do theta into dr and next what is do v by do theta <clears throat> do v by do theta is nothing but r into so this is r into do u by do r into d theta see clear i using cr equations i use the cr equations in order to transform v as u because u is given the real part is given see i have do u by do theta value ready here and do u by do r value is also ready here so now i am going to substitute now if i substitute then dv is equal to this is minus 1 by r times so what is do u by do r do theta so do u by do theta value is nothing but see it's very clear this is minus 2 r square sin 2 theta plus this is r cos theta r cos theta into dr and this is dr and here if you observe this one this is r into what is do u by do r do u by do r value is nothing but look here this is this is 2 r cos 2 theta plus this is sin theta this is sin theta into d theta so this is d theta i substitute the values of do u by do theta and do u by do r here in place of do u by do theta and in place of do do u by do r now i am going to multiply so if i take this r minus r inside then this will become dv is equal to minus into minus this is plus this if i cancel for one time this will be 2 r sin 2 theta and again if i multiply r will r and r got cancelled and this will be minus 1 times of this is cos theta into dr and see here if i multiply with r this will be 2 r square cos 2 theta into d theta and again if i multiply with r this will be r sin theta into d theta and look my next step will be so this is 2 r sin 2 theta into dr minus this is cos theta into dr plus this will be 2 r square cos 2 theta into d theta 
plus r this is sin theta into d theta and now see i i need the value of v here so for that i am writing the, these steps d theta and dr are there so this is dr and this is dr this is d theta and this is d theta now i am going to write as see these two steps that is 2r sin 2 theta and 2r square cos 2 theta into d theta i am writing here as this is 2r sin 2 theta into dr plus this is 2r square this is cos 2 theta into d theta and the next thing i am going to do i am going to write here is next thing here what i am going to write here is so these two things that is minus cos theta into and if i take these two in one step this will be see here this is going to become r sin theta d theta minus this one is cos theta into dr now i am going to write this as dv is equal to this is nothing but the derivative of r square sin 2 theta see now it's clear r square i left and for sin 2 theta this is 2 sin theta and again this will be 2 cos 2 theta clear and uh, if you observe this one so r square i left this is u and this is v the derivative of sin 2 theta is nothing but 2 cos 2 theta now i am leaving this sin 2 theta and for r square it is 2r into dr okay the next thing i am going to write this as minus this is the derivative of this is r cos theta see how it's possible r it is like this for cos theta this is minus sin theta and again see here if you observe for r it is one minus cos theta is there satisfied and now i am going to differentiate or integrate sorry integrate on both sides that is dv is equal to the derivative of r square sin 2 theta minus derivative of this is cos theta so if i make a derivative here so integrating on both sides if i integrate on both sides then this will be integration and derivative got cancelled and v value will be so integration and derivative got cancelled this will be r square sin 2 theta integration and derivative got cancelled this is r cos theta plus c c if you observe this one so this is of the form u plus iv so this is the imaginary part v so we got the value of v and again from the question we have u what is u here the real part is given from the question and let me show you what is the real part here real part is nothing but r square so this is r square cos 2 theta plus this is r sin theta so we have u value and v value so what is f of z so f of z is nothing but u plus i into v so f of z value is what is u here r will be r square cos 2 theta plus this is r sin theta plus i times of v that is r square sin 2 theta minus this is r cos theta plus c and now see here f of z value is equal to this will be if i take r square common so this will be c this can be written as r square cos 2 theta plus this is r sin theta if i multiply with i this will be i r square sin 2 theta and if i multiply with i this is minus r cos theta plus some c into i see now I am going to write these two at one go. So this is sine 2 theta that is minus r square. So no, 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 no. I am going to write these two. If I take r square common here, I am going to write these two. And the next thing what I am going to do is I am going to write these two, these two at one place. See here. Then f of z value will become See, then f of z value is equal to if i take r square common this will be cos 2 theta and here if i take r square common this will be i sin 2 theta and see here in this case so if i take r 
common then this will be sin theta minus i this is cos theta plus some ci c then see what happens f of z is equal to this this is r square into this is cos 2 theta plus i sin 2 theta and see if i take minus common and this will be minus sin theta plus this is i cos theta plus c and see what is uh, minus 1 here so f of z value is equal to this is r square cos 2 theta plus i sin 2 theta and this is minus r so this will be i square sin theta plus this is i cos theta plus c in place of minus 1 i am writing as i square and see again if i take i common from these two equations what happens here so this will be f of z value is equal to this is r square cos 2 theta plus i sin 2 theta and here if i bring i common from this so if i bring this uh, i outside one i outside this will be r i this is i sin theta plus cos theta plus some c and this can be written as see here this can be written as f of z is equal to r square this is e to the power of 2 theta into i so this can be written as 2 theta into i and this is minus i times of this can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta plus c and c f of z is equal to this is r square e to the 2 theta into i minus r i this is e to the power of the plus then f of z will be this will be r e power i theta whole square minus i times of this is r e power i theta plus some c so now it's very clear that it's a polar coordinates then f of z can be written as z square minus i z plus c so this is the analytic function so this is the analytic function needed and which is asked in the question so using the polar coordinates see how to find if u is given see here it's so simple when the real part is u is given so we have to find u with respect to r for one time u with respect to theta for one time and these are the cr equations using cr equations see we have dv is equal to dou v by dou r into dr plus dou v by dou theta into d theta so i don't have this v values i have only u values i am transforming this dou v by dou dou v by dou r as minus 1 by r dou u by dou theta <clears throat> and dou v by dou theta is r times of dou u by dou r so as we have dou u by dou theta value ready here and dou u by dou r value ready here so after substitution after after substituting and uh, calculating here so i got v value as <clears throat> r square sine 2 theta minus r cos theta plus c so you have u value and v value so f of z is equal to u plus iv so i substituted u plus iv and f of z i wrote uh, after taking r square common here and r common here and this is our analytic function that is z square minus iz plus c thank you so much for watching and please have a look at my next video too and it will be also very important and uh, helpful to you for your preparation and if you really like you know what to do please take time to raise your thumb leave a comment below and pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel